Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at the word that the Holy Spirit gave to the Apostle Paul. And it, it still applies to us today in the same way that it applied in the past and it will forever. He says, For if the dead do not rise, then Christ has not been raised. If Christ is not raised, your faith is in vain. You are still in your sins. Then also, they who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. But, and now he comes to great revelation. If in this life we only have hope in Christ, we are of all men, most miserable. That means, if we hope the blessings, the answers of Jesus, the promises of God only in this life, in other words, if our lives don't develop, don't prosper, we don't have the abundant life that he promised. And if we wait to achieve the abundance of God only in this world, we are the most miserable of all men. So, my friends, what I understand in this text is that in another occasion, the same apostle teaches that we are dead to this world. We died from the moment that we got baptized in water. We buried our old nature. That means when someone converts, they die to this world. They stop being their own Lord to be servants of the Lord Jesus. And you need to understand this. Even though you conquer the world, but if you don't conquer the kingdom of God, you are the most miserable on the face of the earth. That's why God has given us faith. Faith, the faith is to cross this world, overcoming its obstacles and attractions, overcoming the devil and our own flesh. Our own lusts and vanities for us to get to the kingdom of heaven. This is very glorious. Our faith, my friends, is not in the things of this world. It's not in the money, the success, the physical strength, because everything we achieve in this world will stay behind. We don't take anything from it. Actually, it's not even ours, it's from God. Everything's from God. But we don't have anything. We don't have anything. When people offer their offerings and sacrifices and they strive to fulfill their vows with God, they will give what already belongs to Him. But when the people and this is one of the reasons of the campaign. When the person when that person gives their soul to God because their soul doesn't belong to God, your soul is yours. But when you offer your soul to God, 
You say, oh my God, here I am, my life, my soul, for you, oh my God, my life, my soul, my heart and my mind, my entire being and my life, I give into your hands. Then, God will be happy because this is what He wants, that we may drink from the cup of salvation, which, by the way, we're going to be talking about. And, mind you, Sunday we are going to participate of the Lord's Supper. Now, now, over a new perspective, we're going to understand this matter. A new point of view has come because the Lord's Supper is not about you. No, everybody does that and it's very easy to do that. You don't even need to be converted for you to do that. Everyone participates. The Lord's Supper is a renewal of our vows that we made with Jesus, saying, Oh my Lord, take my life. In the same way that you gave your body and your blood for me, I give my life to you as you sacrificed and suffered for me. I will sacrifice for you above all, above my family, my loved ones, above my own life. I will sacrifice my life for you. This is the Lord's Supper. It's a pact that the person makes and takes the decision of doing what he had done, what had to be done before. Unfortunately, this doesn't normally happen. People surrender their lives to Jesus in the church, but when they leave the church, they take their lives back, and it's always like that. But when the person takes the real cup of salvation, the cup of salvation, that person realizes that their life no longer exists, that there's no more humiliation, because the person already died. There's no more injustice because the person is already dead. How can a dead body suffer injustice? How can a dead body suffer humiliation? That's why many Christians suffer. They suffer because they didn't die to Jesus. They are still alive. Still alive. The hope of these fake Christians is this life, the world, but this will all pass away. Everything passes and ceases. Isn't it true? But when the person drinks the cup of salvation and makes a pact with God, then in the same way that person gives the Lord he will also come upon that person to make his dwelling place with the Holy Spirit.